Right, good morning grade sevens from GNPS. I just want to go through your assessment for your clapping exercises for next term, or this term. Okay, so we're just going to go through basics, the first part of the video, and then we're going to go through your next three on your sheet that I gave you. But the new sheet that I gave you, it's got, um, it's called grade seven and clapping assessments for all four terms, and it's got lots of semi-quavers and stuff, interesting stuff on it. So basically the normal notes, okay, your three quavers, so your first, uh, your quaver on its own is worth half, um, grouped in two, it's worth one count, grouped in four, it's worth two counts. Your crotchet note, one and, you hold for a whole count, minimum, hold for two counts, one and, two and. semi B hold for four counts, one and, two and, three and, four and. Dotted notes, dotted uh, crotchet is worth one and a half. Dotted minimum is worth three, dotted semi brief is worth six. Okay, and the method for the dotted notes is the original value plus half the original value equals the new dotted note. So this is an example of the crotchet. It's normally worth one count, the original value, plus half the original value is half, equals one and a half, and the same for all of them and the rests. Right, so new notes for grade six, I mean grade seven, is the semi quaver. Looks like the quaver, it's got an extra tail. Okay. So it splits the quaver in half, so this will be half of half is a quarter. That's the note, that's the rest. When they are grouped together in four, the semi-quavers, it looks like that. And the way to look at um, cap capping when you've got semi-quavers is look in whole counts and how many notes fit in a whole. So this is worth one, this is worth half because two semi-quavers, two quarters equals half. And... If it was grouped like this, this would be a normal quaver joined to two semi-quavers. So this would be half and that would be quarter and quarter. So this would be a whole count. Then this would be two semi-quavers first, then the quaver, normal quaver. So it would be half, quarter, quarter and half, also one whole count. And this would be one whole count as well, a dotted quaver. If you use this method, it's worth three quarters. So it's one and two, so one E and D. So it's got three um, quarters in it, and this has got the last quarter, which is the semi quaver. And the last one, these are just little things that can come up that you can recognize if you are dealing with semi quavers, little patterns. This is also worth one count. The semi quaver rest, quarter first, and then E and D. Each a quarter, three quarters there, and one quarter is a whole count. So when we're using semi-quavers, we don't count normally 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Now we count 4 taps per count. So it's 1 E and D. 2 E and D. 3 E and D. If you count into 3, then you count to 3. Okay, so those are all the notes. So let's just go through each. These are each 1 counts. So we're going to go how you would count it. So this would be 1 E and D. This would be... 1E, e. the and would be the other half of whatever's there. This would be 1E e and D. Okay, the quaver holds longer than that. Two semi quavers. This would be 1E e and D. E. The last note holds longer than the two semi quavers before. This would be 1E e and D. E. Okay, holds for three um, quotes, and the last is the semi quaver with that little thing. Then the last one is 1E e and D. Okay, so that's the basics of what we're going to do with our notes, what we're dealing with. Then we're going to look at the next chart. Right, good morning, grade sevens of DNPS. Mr. O on the lockdown doing some classes on your next practical, which we are doing this term. So you've had two clapping um, worksheets that I've given you, one that was an old one and this is the new one. So we have done number one and two and three. So I'm just going to go through number three, our last one at the top, and then I'm going to do the next three, which is going to be for this term. So let's just go through the difficult things. Remember, when we are dealing with semi-quavers, we are counting, looking at whole counts. Look at them in blocks of one. If you need to split your bar into blocks, and rewrite it out of one count, do that will help you a lot. Um, I'll just give you one example. 
Um, so say for instance, uh, this bar is difficult for me. So I will rewrite it like this one. Okay, and look at it as one count. So that's one count. And here, two counts, three counts, and then four counts. Okay, so you would split your whole block into counts then. Draw no, more bar lines which aren't bar lines. Okay, so that's two, three, four. One count, two count, three count, four count. And we're counting in one E and E, two E and E, three E and E, four E and E. So it's much easier to count. This is one. We can just put a little count there. One, two, three, four. Okay, so these are all quarters, half. So, and then two quarters, whole count, two halves. So it's one E and D, two E and D, three E and D, four E and D. Okay, so we're putting E and Ds to it. So this would be one E and D, two E, because it's worth half, but we're dealing, we're counting in quarters. Uh, two E and D, those are just two quarters. 1 E and D, hold it for that. Last one would be 1 E and D. So it would be 1, 1 E and D. Okay, so you're basically just breaking it down, making it easier. So the number three on your thing, which we have done last term, I don't think I assessed you on it, but let's go through it. So you would count to four first and then start. So it's only three bars. 1 E and D, 2 E and D, 3 E and D, 4 E and D, 1 E and D, 2 E and D, 3 E and D, 4 E and D, 1 E and D, 2 E and D, 3 E and D, 4 E and D, 1 E and D, 2 E and D, 3 E and D, 4 E and D. Okay, so difficult parts would be, let's just do this bar on its own. Remember, this is normally a quaver half a count, but now we're counting in um, quarters, so it would be 1 E as you would count a whole half a count. So it would be 1 E and D, 2 E and D, 3 E and D, 4 E and D. You hold the crotch for the whole. This one would be 1 E and D, 2 E and D, 3 E and D, 4 E and D. Okay, then we're going to do number the one we're going to do for next the term, 6, 8, which is number 4 on your list. So this is very simple, remember it's simple, I mean compound time, but it's very simple. You're only counting the numbers, the numbers as half, which are quavers counted as a whole count. So if you're counting this simple time, it would be 1 and 2 and 3 and, which is a fraction, so therefore it's compound time. So it would be... One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Okay, remember all our qu quaver rest. We don't clap. Remember the dotted crotch is normally worth one and a half, but now times two is worth three. So we'd hold this. Let's just do this just bar. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, the last bar, only um, every second number you clap. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this bar over here, let's just go through that. So on one and four, you don't clap, that's all. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just do it one more time, a little bit faster. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Okay, then we're going to do the next one, which is counting to four, simple time, because it's over four, the time signature. And remembering our dotted notes, worth one and a half, so you hold this note for one and two, and, then you go to the and. Yeah, every and you're going to clap, so it's one and two, and three, and four, and. Then this is simple, hold that one, min, dot, min and four, three counts, and the four and. Very simple one. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four. Right, okay, fast vision. 
One and two and three and four and 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 right. Right. Okay. So now we're gonna do the last one, which is the compound of us. Difficult one in the simple time mode. So let's just go to each bar individually first, then we'll do the whole thing. So the first bar we're counting one e and e for every count. So this would be 1 E and E, 2 E and E, 3 E and E. Remember, this holds for 3 E because it's a quaver rest. Next one. So this would be 1 E and E, 2 E and E, 3 E and E. Okay, semi quaver rest just on the 2 you don't count, just on the 3 you don't count. Clap, sorry. Then the last one, this is a crotchet, so you hold for the 1 whole 1 E and E. Quaver rest. Which is 2E, you hold it. And the, and the last one is dotted quaver, so you hold it for 1E and D. This last one. Last for three pulses. So the last bar would be 1E and D, 2E and D, 3E and D. Okay, let's do the whole thing. 1E and D, 2E and D, 3E and D, 1E and D, 2E and D, 3E and D. 1 E and E, 2 E and E, 3 E and E, 1 E and E, 2 E and E, 3 E and E. Right, have a beautiful day.